the best way to aerate your lawn. In this video, I'm going to be taking you through three different methods that I've tried to aerate my lawn and when you should pick each type of different method depending on the conditions that you see in your land and on your lawn. It's Garden Lawn Care Guy here with free DIY lawn care tips to get great results at home. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to my channel and turning the notifications on to receive information about my upcoming lawn care series. In this video, I'm going to be looking at three different types of lawn aeration. I'm going to be breaking down different equipment that's available to you and how you can use it to get great results in your lawn. For all the products that I'm using today, check out the description where you'll see some links so you can purchase them yourself or check out the prices. So what are the different types of lawn aeration? In general, there's three main types called solid tine aeration, hollow tine aeration, and you can get aeration by uh, slitting um, using machine. First of all, before I do any type of aeration on the lawn, I want to keep the grass nice and short. So I'll just run over it with the mower, clean the area up to give us a nice surface to work with. First of all, I'm going to take you through the solid tine aeration method. This method can be particularly good if you've got a more sandy type of soil where you can prick holes in the soil and it almost just creates a bit of an air gap for the air to move through the plant and water to penetrate deeper into the roots. This method may not be as good for clay based soils because it can actually cause a compaction around the tine and for clay based soils you might be better off using a hollow tining method such as this hollowed tine swarping aerator. You can also hire a manual um, or petrol powered aerator. This is quite a big piece of equipment and um, generally can be over facing for someone new to lawn care. But this hollow tine aerator is really simple to use. You've just seen me there. It's great quality, pierces some tines in the lawn and out comes the plug. The third type of aerator is this Einhill aerator. These type of aerators normally will come with um, can come with two different types of blades. Currently in there I've got a Scarifier rate cartridge and this second cartridge you can see on the grass right now is an aerator and this aerates by slitting through the thatch in the grass to give it some more space to breathe. So first of all let's do a test with solid tine aeration. My particular lawn is actually quite clay based and heavy, not sandy at all, but we'll see how this fork does. This is a really simple method. You just get the fork and you're pricking it into the lawn, stamping it with your feet. And you can see here, it creates these little holes in the surface, just allowing the water to penetrate deeper. The second method we're going to be looking at is this hollow tine aeration. This particular aerator is a Swordman aerator. This aerator for disclosure I've been given on a trial basis uh, from Garden Imports to do some tests and trials in the garden and I can receive a small commission if anyone purchases one of these in the affiliate link in the description below. It's got quite a few nice interesting features such as these open fronted tines which help to prevent them getting clogged up as much and they're also actually removable using these three screws on the back. I will say this particular model is quite a bit more expensive than some of the competitors on the market but it also does address some of the key restrictions and limitations of those other uh, products that I personally used before and maybe if you're just starting out to lawn care and you want to try something or also if you're on a bit of a budget and you don't really want to spend that much on a tool like this then you can definitely check out some of the other alternatives on the market overall this product seemed really well made it's quite robust and i actually quite enjoyed um, putting a day's work in to uh, get the samples out of my lawn
If you've ever tried to do this using one of the other products, you'll know exactly what I mean about some of their limitations in terms of the robustness of the construction and sometimes the tines break. But as this is almost a really solid metal piece, most of the force that you're applying on it is going straight through the tines into the ground and it made light work for me. You can do this by putting your foot in through the brace and just pushing down. Or you can do this uh, little kick on the top. I tried both methods and they both seem to work pretty well. Let's have a look at the cores that it's pulling out and you can see here that my soil is clay. It's got a clay base like most new build soils. And this thing just presses right through it with no problem at all. I would say it's really key for using a tool like this that your ground needs to be moist and damp. We've had a lot of rainfall which is making this significantly lighter work than it would be if it was dry and hot. Let's run the camera through and check out some of the holes that this has produced. You can see here you've got a much deeper hole. It's going to give you much better aeration and the encourages the roots of the plant to sort of spread and give them room to grow. After you've got some of your lawn care basics right, such as mowing, uh, fertilising and regular maintenance, I would say hollow tire aeration is probably the next on the list for the biggest thing you're going to see um, best results for. The last type of aeration I'm going to look at today is um, a slitting type of aeration. So we'll just take the scarifier blade out of the machine and we'll put in this um, aerator. And this is particularly good if you've got quite a thick layer of thatch. It can help slit and cut through that layer of thatch and give the grass almost room to breathe. It's also good if you're looking to do some overseeding maybe because you can set this at a lower setting and it almost creates little ridges or grooves for the seed to sit in, which is really going to improve that seed to soil contact as well as removing some of the thatch, which will also allow the seeds to get down to the soil bed. Let's take a look at these plugs. The good news is it doesn't look like I've got much thatch at all, but I've also got quite a clay base. It's probably why my lawn doesn't absorb a lot of water and hopefully poking these holes in it is just going to encourage the roots to expand through those different clay layers and also help with the water penetration. If you liked the video, please leave me a thumbs up and comment down below with your favourite lawn aeration method to apply in your lawn. And I've linked a couple of videos here that you may enjoy for other lawn care tips.